Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I want to show you how to incorporate your drill through filter path, or breadcrumbs as we like to call them, into a visual title. Now, this can be incredibly useful for report consumers as it can help remind them of the filter selections and make sure that they don't get lost as they navigate down through a hierarchy. So, let's go ahead, hop into Power BI, and get started. So as you can see up here in the title, there's actually three drill through breadcrumbs that are in the title section itself. 2020, Q2 2020, and May 2020. And all of these can also be seen in the filter selection. And each of these was made using the drill down functionality in the hierarchy controls up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the top and show you the actions in effect as I drill down. So all the way up to the top, notice that the title now shows nothing in here. But if I turn on drill down, let's see, I go to 2020, then I go to Q2, and then I go to May 2020, you'll see that each time I make those selections, this continually filled itself out. Now this concept can work with anything you have over in the axis section that's creating a hierarchy, whether or not you've added additional individual columns in here or whether or not you've used an established hierarchy that was built over in the field selection. Any of those will work. The thing that I've done to set this up is I've created a measure specifically that is then fed into the title that turns into this. You can see that setting applied if I come over to the paint roller here for formatting, go to title, and you can notice that I have applied a DAX measure here at the top. And if I click this and open up the window, you can see that I have formatted by field value based on the breadcrumb title. Now there's a few other videos that I have that talk about formatting by field values that I'll link you to over on the right or down in the description. But for now, what I'd like to show you is the measure that I've used to build the breadcrumb title. So I'm gonna close this window here, and I'm gonna come over to my DAX measures section here and go to if I open this up, breadcrumb title, and let me go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit. There we go. You can see that the breadcrumb title is simply page views and another measure that I'm referencing called the date hierarchy breadcrumb. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one as well. So date hierarchy breadcrumb, there we go. We can see this in front of us here and let's walk through it one step at a time. So declared a few variables at the top, year selection, quarter year selection, and month in year selection. Each of these is essentially capturing whether or not there's a single selected value for either year, quarter, or month. And these will basically trigger and return some value if I've used the drill down functionality. Because if I select a single year, only a single year is being returned with this. Same thing with the quarter selection and the month selection. Otherwise, these return blank if there's no single selection being made for any of these columns. And this is how you would do it for any hierarchy, regardless of the actual values themselves. In this case, there's a few ways to do this with DAX, but this is how I chose to set it up. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, so there we go. It's slightly more formatted, and each of these switches are down onto one line now. And what I've done is I start from the bottom selection first. The order that you actually use the switch true statement in to return the values should make sure you start from the bottom level of the hierarchy all the way through the top. Because if you start from the top is the first condition to check, even if you're 15 levels down in the hierarchy, this condition will always be met and it will only ever return this first selection here. So make sure you start from the very bottom level of the granularity in your hierarchy selection of, you know, the concatenation of your, of your drill down breadcrumbs and then work your way up. So it's checking to see if the month and year selection is not blank, meaning the lowest level of this over here in the hierarchy, if I go back here, in this case, month and year, because the lowest level is date, but the lowest level that I can drill into is month and year. So that's the first check that I'm doing on my switch statement. So come back over to here. So checking if that's not blank, meaning is there a selection or a drill down that's been made on the month year column? So if that's the case, it starts by concatenating a bracket to basically you know, format it. It includes the year selection, and then it parses them together by including a little arrow to show the next direction. So what was my year selection? what was my quarter year selection, and what was my month and year selection. And that returns that concatenated string, which as you can see here, is what's being returned in the title. So 2020 goes into Q2 2020, and then my last selection was May 2020. So you can see that that nice formatted little string is then included at the top, concatenated with page titles. Opening this up again, and it basically runs that second switch statement to check if quarter year was selected, so the second lowest level, and then returns a concatenated string, and then last one to check is just simply the year selection. So that's, we observe this again, how we can see it working at each of the levels. It starts with 2020, the breadcrumb will open up if I drill down again to the Q2, and if I drill down one more time, then to the Q2 plus also May and 2020. Date was the best example I had for this, but this can work again with any types of hierarchies, 
really useful feature and I really like to include it in the title itself, again, to kind of help prevent people from getting lost if they're drilling down really deep or let's say they go have a cup of coffee and come back. It's still gonna remind them of kind of what they've done with their selections. So hopefully this was useful and uh, you can incorporate this in different reports that you have. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.